Happy Father's Day. And that was, uh, that was kind of funny and kind of cool at the same time. What's up, man? <laughs> How you doing, up? bro? It's my boss. How are uh, you? I'm good, I'm good. What's up? I saw, I saw you crossing the road here uh, and I just thought... So actually, uh, great timing, man. Because we're, uh, we're heading over to the Shangri-La. Shangri-La Hotel to meet the U.S. clients that are in town. Today we actually had an adventurous plan to hit Kota Hidor Island, but we canceled it on account of rain, but yeah. I don't know about rain, man. It's it's Looks a beautiful, sunny, right? sunny, awesome, blue day. Look at the people there. Yeah, no, I wish we'd have pushed through, I really do, because Kota Hidor is awesome. But uh, I think we're doing museums today, which is almost equally as awesome. Here in Manila, the two museums are are really cool. So, uh, before, right? yeah, yeah. Here in BGC is just fancy and swag, man. Ah, uh, air conditioned bliss inside the beautiful Shangri La BGC. So, I always thought the Shangri La Makati was just top dog, you know, it's the king of hotels in Manila. It's awesome, it's one of the older sort of go-to motels for class and awesomeness in Manila. And Shangri-La BGC certainly doesn't disappoint. It's a much, much newer hotel. I'm sure uh, it's probably even nicer than Makati. Ang Pambansang Museo, the National Museum of the Philippines, is really awesome. Uh, if you haven't put it on your itinerary when you're visiting Manila or if you live here and you haven't visited it, come check it out because it rocks. It's uh, a great experience, a great cultural, historical, and artistic experience. So, along with no video, there's no wacky poses allowed in a museum. Yeah, I so video recording is also not allowed. I was going to say, if they <laughs> hadn't told me that, there wouldn't be any wacky poses today. But now that they've told me that, I think that should be the theme of the day. Yo, bro, this, this guy is totally, totally pimping. Where is exhibit when you need a... Philippines Illuminati is real. That is so cool. There's a fire hydrant. Ported from the UK. I kind of think this is the coolest painting in the museum. in the museum and somebody out there knows why but I am not telling who I always thought these sketches were so cool these little studies of province you know life Filipino beauty country last another Filipino yes On death march. Yeah, weird, creepy stuff. Man. Creepy, 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 creepy. All right, this is officially the new creepiest painting in the museum. Ah, the old classic. Filipinos in that age and generation look like what Filipinos. Chilling with my boy Rizal. 
really cool colors. Alright, so uh, that was Museum 1, now it's on to Museum 2 across the street. It's more like an a anthropological ex exhibit type of museum. And when you buy water on the street here, it's, uh, and you ask for cold water, and it's in this big thing of ice, it comes out not warm. And, and on a hot day, not warm is also not cold. And that poor horse back there, you think it might be romantic or charming? take a little horse-drawn tour of uh, intramuros here. It might be, but that that horse stank to high heaven, man. I was like 10 feet away from it, and I could just smell it ranking. And uh, that just uh, instinctually made me feel like that horse is uh, not a happy beast. So I don't know if I would support that type of tourism, especially when you can get an electric cart to take you around. National Museum of Anthropology. We've actually renamed this museum recently. It was the National Museum of the Filipino People Club. So, the National Museum, the best part of the National Museum, is closed. Just letting you know. They have that. Whale teeth, man. Right? These are That's just not cool. Idea. Brace a cannon for you. <laughs> I remember that spring shot. Musket balls. Pirate tech. Lead shot designed to destroy sails. Brine fish. Ah. And the brine fish. I always thought this thing was so cool. It's a it's an oven, a cooking area, a cooking pot. It's the Gao House. Now that is a drum. This is actually the uh, Muslim influence on the Filipino people, cultures. When I go fishing, that's the net that I'm bringing. That Must net rocks, baby. Look at that. You know, all those cool little bags at SM. Actually, so super cool. These arrows are all arrows. These are like hair combs and stuff. It's actually really cool. It's like a furrow pick there, man. That, that's awesome. Kick ass spear. It's a really sweet friggin' bowlers, man. Look at those bad boys. Slice you up, dog. Shields. Very, very interesting. Wooden shields. Ah, a typical baron. Junting. Alright. Now, who's gonna wield that? That's like the mountain. What a crazy friggin' like axe. Machete axe. We got Dave, Bob, Jimmy, Stu over here, Rafi boy, Tupac, right? Uh, this one's uh, Bobby, this one's Steve O over here, Damon, 
uh, Richard, uh, uh, I failed. Yeah, it's like a death pot. They put people inside that. Yeah. Wow, that's freaky. Like really, dude? It's like the Filipino chupacabra. Nice chessboard with these superimposed sneakers. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more. It's Manila, baby.